We begin tonight with new and worrying details about the murder of Kansas Dr. George Tiller. Today, confirmation that Dr. Tiller's alleged assassin, Scott Roeder, was in contact with the extreme anti-abortion group Operation Rescue in the months leading up to Dr. Tiller's murder. Up to this point, Operation Rescue has maintained that Scott Roeder was not a member of their organization, but evidence of a link between the two that was first inadvertently spotted in local television footage has now been followed up and confirmed. Check this out. Immediately after the Tiller shooting, when Scott Roeder was pulled over by police, local TV footage from KMBC captured a glimpse of a small note that was on the dashboard of Mr. Roeder's car. The note read, Cheryl, Op Rescue, and it had a phone number on it. Cheryl at Op Rescue, we can now tell you, is Cheryl Sullinger. She is employed by the anti-abortion group as their senior policy advisor. Ms. Sullinger has now admitted that she did, in fact, have multiple phone conversations with Scott Roeder before Dr. Tiller was killed. Those conversations were about Dr. Tiller. Operation Rescue maintained and still maintains something that they call Tiller Watch on their website. Allies of Dr. Tiller in Kansas say that until recently, Operation Rescue also posted online the doctor's real home address and the address of his church, which of course is where Dr. Tiller was ultimately murdered this weekend, allegedly by Scott Roeder. Cheryl Sullinger tells the Kansas City Star, quote, I was polite enough to give him the information. I had no reason not to. Who knew? Who knew, you know what I mean? In addition to informing Mr. Roeder of Dr. Tiller's whereabouts over the phone, Cheryl Sullinger was also using her Twitter account to track Dr. Tiller's movements. March 12th, 11.24 a.m., ambulance just took women from hospital from Tiller's mill. Photos, video to come. Tiller tried to hide from us. March 5th, 7.23 p.m., inviting all to Tiller trial in Wichita, March 16th. February 20th, 11.26 a.m. Meanwhile, bloody business as usual at Tiller's Shop of Horrors. Before she became Operation Rescue's senior policy advisor, Cheryl Sullinger served almost two years in prison for conspiring to bomb a California abortion clinic in 1988. The abortion folks showed up. Operation Rescue. I'm Cheryl Sullinger, and I'm with Operation Rescue, and we're a pro-life group. But we're here today because um, Dennis Rader is being sentenced for the murder of 10 people, and we are glad that he's getting justice. But we're calling for his excommunication because we believe that as an unrepentant murderer, someone who's shed innocent blood, he should not be embraced by the church. There's very clear guidelines in the Bible about the immoral brother, about the wicked brother, and how he needs to be put out. And that's for the protection of the rest of God's flock, so that they don't get the message that it's okay for people to do things like this and still be embraced by the church. That God draws a line where discipline needs to happen. And we also believe that for the other serial killer in Wichita, and that's George Tiller, and that's another reason we're out here. It's just really uncanny the amount of comparisons that can be made between Dennis Rader and this abortionist. There's no justice for baby tests or for little babies that are killed. Some of them we, we suspect are illegally killed here in Wichita. So they both are, have killed, they both are unrepentant, and they both need to be excommunicated. but we do know that it will be more detail than we've ever been provided before. We know this time that these pictures are going to be shown. We know this time that we are going to hear from the detectives that actually did the investigation. And there's just a sense out here that this is finally, the end is about to begin.